Terminating a contract? Eek. What are you going to do? All right, well, stick around and I'll tell you. Hello, Simon here from The Contract Company. Contracts, that's what we do all day, every day, and sometimes overnight. Lucky us. And that's true. Contracts are interesting. Right, you want to terminate a contract. Right, now the reason I said ink is because it is one of the areas of law where you really are exposed if you get it wrong. So let's just step back. How do you terminate a contract? The key thing in terminating the contract is to look at the actual contract and examine the termination clause. Now, most of those sorts of clauses, because we've seen hundreds, most of those clauses will set out a process of things you have to do. Usually you have to provide notice, one, in writing and of a certain time period, 30, 60, 90 days of notice. The fourth thing you have to do often is send that notice to a key person that's specified in the contract. So it might say that if you want to issue a formal notice under this contract, then that notice has to go to, you know, Joe Blow at example.com.au or whatever the email address is. So that's the thing you need to do. You need to absolutely follow the process in the contract. Now, whether you can actually terminate the contract, well, there is some case law that talks about, you know, you've got to act in uh, good faith and, and that sort of thing. I'm not going to talk much more about that because the case law is unsettled on the subject and I don't know much about it. Um, and it's all a bit complex. So then the key reason I say this is a risk is because if you terminate the contract and you have, you believe the right to do it under the contract, but if it turns out you're actually wrong, either you stuff up the process or you didn't have the right under the contract to terminate, then your act of termination is actually deemed by the court to be an act of repudiation, which means that you've given, you've given the other side an intention or a clear indication that you no longer want to be bound by the contract. Now that means that they can terminate the contract on you because you have now been found to have repudiated and they can seek damages from you. See what I'm talking about? I don't like to scaremonger, but I would seriously say this is one of the areas of law where you probably want to get some help. Now, whether it's from me or someone else, you do what you need to do. Just don't stuff this one up, right? Because if you get it wrong, big bickies at stake. Anyway, any questions, please give us a call. Simon at contractcompany.com.au, 1-800-355-455. Thanks very much.